Hi, this is Dr. Campbell, and today I want to talk about how black parents should respond to the Charleston shooting. Now, in a recent article I was reading, well, two articles with both Democrats and Republicans, they were responding to the Charleston shooting incident from a religious and political perspective. Those perspectives continue to elude the fact that such racist terrorist acts are rooted in racism in the classroom. The responses from both Democrats and Republicans are absent of how black parents should respond to such incidents like the Charleston shooting. And so the first question is, what are some of the responses that black parents teach their children to avoid racism that can lead to situations like the Charleston shooting. Now, some minorities believe they cannot trust white institutions. Cultural racism results from the dominant or more powerful group defining cultural values and value characteristics. Anti-black prejudice in America has historical roots in slavery, carpet bagging, and the failure to reconstruct the South after the Civil War. Indians, Mexican Americans, Puerto Ricans, and Blacks share the same experience of entrance into the United States society against their will and then relegated to a subordinate status. Blacks have learned since slavery that the way to get ahead in America is not through merit and talent, but through white patronage. Americans of color have had to adapt to a society that does not value their ethnicity, history, heritage, or language by establishing societal survival strategies. Black parents prepare their children to live in a dual cultural world that involves helping them to develop skills for adult roles such as wage earners and parenthood in addition to no negotiating a dominant society that has different cultural values and judges people by their skin color or ethnic background. Now blacks who live in an urban society and a society that dislikes them for the color of their skin ensure they do not become victims by approaching people with caution, wariness, and a sense of distrust. Blacks learn at an early age to be wary of people and systems in their environment. With the recent deaths of Michael Brown, Freddie Gray, and other blacks, it appears that black parents' efforts to protect their children have failed. Classroom racism provides the platform for white students such as Dylan Roof to develop attitudes associated with white privilege, which can in turn, in turn, turn to extreme views associated with white supremacy. Black parents can enhance their efforts to protect their children by eliminating classroom racism. You see, education provides a vehicle for children of all ethnicities to make different and informed choices, and teachers are the gatekeepers. Parents can use the following strategies. First of all, it's summertime. Involve your children in an academic summer enrichment program. Secondly, when school starts, meet with and discuss your child's progress in school on a weekly basis. Thirdly, require your children to take classroom notes. This will provide evidence on what your child is learning. It will also document what the teacher is teaching. Next, have your child develop a portfolio which includes classroom tests and homework for each subject area. And this provides evidence of their learning 
and evidence of the absence of classroom racism. Meet with teachers monthly regarding the progress of your child. Attend all school board meetings. And finally, participate in the school board member selection process. And if you feel up to it, run for the school board and get involved in the decision making process for your children. Black parents can continue to ensure that their children do not become victimized by such events as the Charleston shooting by becoming more involved in the education process and requiring that teachers eliminate classroom racism by promoting positive racial teacher-student classroom relationships. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about the whole blog as well as other information on my website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Have a great day and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, love, love. Pull your pencils out, classes and session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Lead a classroom together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out. That ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. Yeah.